Hello. Today I'll show you how to use SPSS syntax as an alternative to the point and click interface in SPSS. We first open a data set. Let's say we are interested in summarizing one of the variables, called father's height. We go to analyze menu and then choose descriptive statistics and then descriptives. From the list of variables we choose the father's height variable and put it in the variables box. We choose options to see what summaries we are going to get. We see that mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum are already selected. Let's say we want variance as well and therefore we choose that. We press continue and come back to the previous menu. We press OK here and get the SPSS output in the output window. Now, let's close this output window and repeat the process. We again go to analyze menu and then choose descriptive statistics and then descriptives. We see SPSS remembered that we choose father's height before. We check the options and see that the selections remains the same. We press continue to come back to the previous menu. Now, instead of pressing OK, we press paste. This will open a SPSS syntax editor with some codes already written inside. It says that active dataset is selected and requests descriptive statistics of the father's height variable. In the next line, we can also see the options mean, standard deviation, variance, minimum and maximum chosen. We simply copy the commands and close this editor. Now from file menu, we choose new syntax and a new syntax editor opens. We simply paste the commands here. We select all the commands and press the green play button to run selection. This will open up an output window with same descriptive statistics that we obtained earlier using point click method. We can save the syntax editor as a SPS file so that we can use it later as well. It is saved as syntax for mean.sps. We close the current editor and open the saved SPS file. If we again select and run those commands from newly opened SPS file, we will again get the same descriptive statistics. That means, we do not have to point and click call the SPSS menu and choose the desired options every time we want to run the analysis. We can simply open and run this SPS file, and this will provide exactly same output for chosen options. However, note that in the command lines, you can see that the syntax only works if the exactly same data is opened in the data editor. Can we automate the data opening as well? To do that, let's close all the SPSS windows. We now click the data and SPSS opens. Notice that, in the output window, it also provides the codes for getting or reading the data set. Simply copy that command and close the output window. Now go back to the saved syntax file syntax for mean.sps. In that syntax, delete the line starting with dataset and replace that with the syntax we just copied from the output window to get or read the data file. Save the syntax file by pressing Ctrl plus S. Now open a black new data editor and close the active data file. Now, going back to the syntax editor, select all the commands and run them. This will automatically read the dataset and also provide the descriptive statistics altogether. Now, in the same computer, you can simply open the SPS file and run the syntax to open the same data file and get the descriptive statistics of father's height without clicking various menus.